Hello everyone and welcome to Just Brandon. In today's video, I want to show you guys a couple things I did on my trip to Tokyo. This video is going to include three things that I did in Tokyo. These three things are an aquarium, team lab, and a little visit from Yamakai TV and Naria-san channel. So let's get into it. Tokyo, let's Thank you everyone so much for watching. I want to just explain more about the things that I did in Tokyo and how I felt about them. First thing I want to talk about is the aquarium. I've only been to a couple aquariums here in the United States and the aquarium that I went to in Japan compared to the ones here is pretty crazy. I see a couple similarities in the aquariums I've seen here compared to the one that I went to in Tokyo. The one I went to in Tokyo was pretty well known I guess and it was pretty big. I've never seen a dolphin show before, and that dolphin show was pretty incredible and crazy. These dolphins were jumping so high in the air and turning and flipping, 
it was pretty crazy and it was pretty incredible. So that was an awesome experience. Also, like you guys seen in the video, we saw this little penguin race. Uh, it wasn't on the same level as the dolphins, but they did their best. And I really liked it. So yeah. Also, there was a bunch of cool lighting and everything. All these effects that showed off like the jellyfish and some more fish. And I thought that was really, really cool. So like the whole atmosphere was just a cool atmosphere, especially to have one in an aquarium. So for that aquarium experience, I say everyone should go. The next thing I want to talk about is the team lab experience in Tokyo. Oh my god, that was incredible. I went there and I had no idea what to expect. I've only seen like a few pictures online of people that went. And then when I went inside, I was so impressed. Everything there was so cool. Like you walked in and the first thing they do is they explain the rules and everything and they make you take off your shoes and your socks and they tell you that you're going to be in water a lot. And the first thing you see is actually a hallway full of water and you climb these stairs that's full of water. In Team Lab, everything is light based and all these rooms are completely different and it's an incredible experience. Also, all these effects with the lights really play with your mind and I just thought it was a really, really cool place. And I just, I just can't say anything else about it, but I am just so impressed by Team Lab and I really, really want to go back. I also heard that there's a Team Lab in Kyushu, Japan and also my grandma is from Kyushu, Japan. So I guess Kyushu is just a pretty cool place to be. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about in my trip to Tokyo, Japan was meeting with Yamakai TV and Nuriya-san channel. Like I said, we planned this a little while ago to meet up in Japan and it actually happened and it was really cool. There was a lot of scheduling issues. I know they were pretty busy and I was pretty busy. So just to meet with them again was a really fun time. And it's always good to see them and it's always good to see friends. We did hang out for a couple hours and go out to eat and take a couple pictures and stuff. And overall, it's a good time to see them. I did have a lot more videos and pictures from my trip to Tokyo. I had more videos and pictures of the aquarium, Team Lab, and with Yamakai TV and Nerea-san channel. Unfortunately, those videos are on that broken computer that I have. However, I did send it in yesterday to my friend and he is working on fixing it, so I hope he can. I know the video was pretty short with Yamakai TV and Nerea-san channel, but hopefully my friend can retrieve those videos. Overall, Tokyo was a really cool place to be. I know it's now the new capital of Japan, and a lot is going on there. A lot of people have told me things about Tokyo and like, oh, it's crazy, there's this and that. But overall, I thought it was a really cool experience. Before Tokyo, the only place I went to was Kyoto, and a little section of Kyoto. And the difference I see between them is pretty, pretty big. The main difference I see between Kyoto and Tokyo is just that Tokyo is much more well known worldwide, well at least here in the United States, people know more about Tokyo rather than Kyoto. There's a lot more going on there that we hear about here in the United States in Tokyo rather than in Kyoto. Overall, my trip to Tokyo, Japan was a success. I thought it was an amazing place to go to and I'm really glad that I went there. Everything from the food to the entertainment to just walking around and seeing everything was so crazy for me to see because it's a completely different country and you hear about these things on TV or the internet or you see them in magazines and stuff like that but to actually go to a place like Tokyo was huge for me. I thought it was a great experience, I had a lot of fun and I recommend it for anyone. If you've never been to Tokyo or even if you have, go again, you know? Just Brandon approves of Tokyo. Anyway, that was basically everything I did in Tokyo, Japan. Thank you so much for watching. Chandru Toroku, Onagashimasu, and remember, we are.